Hello guys, welcome to the video, I hope you all are well. So this video guys is for the summon Necromancer, it's basically my farm route before I get Enigma. And for those that know, Enigma is a rumor that goes into a chest plate that basically gives you teleport, okay, which obviously lets you farm super, super fast. So guys, if you're a summon Necro, definitely try out this route, I've had a lot of success with it. I uh, farmed a Zod, I farmed a Zod last night doing this run, man, which is crazy. And I've actually had a fair amount of decent drops okay so uh this farm route's all about getting to elite packs names and all that sort of stuff without much running around so that way you increase your loot efficiency okay uh guys for this build and all that just check it out on the channel i've done some necro build on the channel so go check it out so the best thing about the summer necro is um we can do any content again we don't have to worry about lightning immune poison immune and all that because we can just kill everything which is great so yeah guys what you want to go first to then is go to the frigid highlands okay go to frigid highlands Get your, get your clay gun ready, cast it at the top of the screen as you take a few paces up here, and there's always a named guy here. Always. There's always a named dude right here, right here. So this is where I get my pets up. So I'll just do one corp explosion, maybe two. And uh, straight away, there's a co room. <laughs> I love this run, it's so good, man. It's so good. So there you go, guys. Just got a little cheeky. It's not a super high room, man, but co room ain't too bad at all. There you go, co room straight away. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Right, then, next we're going, size is to Shank the Overseer. Now, this guy can drop great, really, really good stuff. He's the guy that dropped me my uh, Zod room last night, man. It's the first Zod room, guys, in uh, ever, actually, for me. Which is really cool, man. I was like, my God, Zod room! After, like, 20 years, <laughs> I finally got a Zod room to drop, you know? I've had, I've had ones in trade over the years, but not one in drop, man. I was like, oh, my God, I actually got one to drop. So, this is cool. Oh, well, you come down here. Unfortunately, I've got the Spear Chucker guys, which really hurt, but they do actually make for great revives. Let me just uh, detonate some of these guys. There we go. This is only a very, very baby Necromancer at the moment. It's just my little ladder one's got nothing really that good on it. There's Shank the Overseer. And he didn't drop nothing. Great that time. I'm just gonna grab some pots because I'm a little bit, a little bit low. Especially those full rejuice. Then guys, always, always, always go up to these top corners here. But sometimes there is another named elite, or unique named, I should say. Right, nothing this time, yeah. Right, so I normally grab a few revives now because obviously it's a baby necro. We got loads and loads of damage yet. And now the next stop is Travancar in Act 3. Now, this spot here, guys, is absolutely brilliant. I did a separate video for this as well. Travancar um, Council are the best place in the game to drop runes. Their drop rate is the highest out of everything. It's how far my Burr rune six months ago when uh, D12 first got, came out, man. Which was nuts. I was just sitting running this. And they are all here. I do have a teleport stuff, so what I like to do now is teleport here. Okay, and then cast a clay golem, because obviously these guys are pretty pretty naughty. <laughs> pretty naughty, man. And then uh, I'm just looking for a body now. Right, they're all engaged now, my pets. So if I teleport back here now, get these guys to drop, start dropping a little bit, then I can start casting Corp Explosion. Uh, we did get nothing crazy this time, but this spot here is absolutely amazing. It takes two seconds to get to. Chip Topaz there. Pick up any gear, the guys that's going to roll. Skills, you know, ones, things like that. Uh, War staff possibly could, you know, have skills in it, sort of thing. There's one guy left there. You always get a lot of gold out of here as well, man. A lot, a lot of gold. Nice. Right, what I'm doing now, we'll teleport back. And uh, we'll talk to good old Kane. There he is. And quickly identify anything we've found on the run so far. We'll quickly pop over to Ormus. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't it wasn't a particularly good one, that no. <laughs> I think great, though. Let me grab some pots while we're here, actually. Little little pots. Lovely. All right, guys, so next stop is uh, a newer location, actually, called... Um, you want to go to the Spider Forest, okay? Because in the Spider Forest, uh, right next to the portal, always is the Arachnid Lair. The Arachnid Lair got buffed in the last patch on the other two resurrected. This level is now always level 85. Always level 85, which means it drops all the loot in the game, which is great. So it always has super chests. It's a quite a small place. It's a little bit cramped in here. It's a little bit cramped. It's a little bit cramped. So my pets are stuck again. Let me just teleport. There we go. Put my teleport staff. And uh, yeah, come in here. And uh, just clear it out. There is a super chest in this area as well, which is great. 
There's a few elite packs as well. It's a very small dungeon. It doesn't take long to do. Just get one body, corp explosion, and bang. I don't know. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Use my teleport staff to get in a better position. Oh, I've been poisoned. That's not very nice. Yeah, watch out for the poison these dudes there. Uh. It's only a small dungeon. It doesn't take long to do. If your pets get a bit stuck like this, just get yourself a teleport star, guys, from uh, Act 2. Drogner, man, just running in and out of the area. I'll show you at the end of the video how to get that, actually. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Let me just get a few more pets. Uh, oh, there's bodies left. And there's the chest. Lovely. And there's the chest, guys. Oh, nothing great this time, but I've had a few runes drop out this chest as well, man. And, um, yeah, it's definitely a good place to definitely check it out. All right, let's kill these guys off. I'm severely poisoned. I'm just going to quickly pop Mac guys to drug and clear this, uh, sorry, almost and clear this poison, man, because he's, uh, that poison from most spiders, guys, he's not healthy, so don't let them touch you. <laughs> don't let them touch you, man, because, uh, they hurt. There's a little chest there. But yeah, there's normally quite a fair amount of, uh, uniques in here as well. It's a very small dungeon, just a little bit annoying to navigate. Generally, I just just, just skip the trash and just go straight to the uh, the name guys, man. Because those name guys are the ones who are going to give you all that sweet loot, man. And possibly drop sink really good. Got a little one name of name guy there. Champion pack all together. It looks like in this run. Ah, Blake! Boom, boom, boom. We're almost done now. Yeah, guys, definitely add this to your farming route. There you go, there's another unique, a unique Scutum, Scutum, or what is that, is that a pole arm, I think? Oh no, it's a shield, okay, what have we just found? Storm Chaser! Little Storm Chaser, guys. I think we already need, but it's still nice to see another unique drop. Lovely. There we go, almost done. Like I said, though, it's not going to be super fast, because this Necro is very baby. <laughs> very baby, I've got really loads of skills and all that. But the best thing about some Necros, man, you can just do all the content in the game. Of somebody. It might take a little while, but you can literally farm everything, you know. But this particular route, like I said, is for when you basically don't have Enigma. And you want to find some sweet loot, you know. Nice. Any more names? I just tend to run straight to the name, guys. Let me teleport over here. Ooh, almost got poison again. I think we've done it, I think, guys. Also, guys, Cocoon's in here. Actually spawns a good loot as well. Right then, guys. So once you've done all that, then you want to port back out to town again. Pretty cool that we found a code already. already. It was pretty good. Not a bad run. And then what I had to do is go back to Act 5 in Horogaf and finish on Pindle. The Pindle run. Oh, by the way, guys, there's a bug with Pindle at the moment. When you resurrect these skeletons here. Look. Look. Oh, so, see, so I've got them rest, yeah? When the timer kicks in. Oh, or did they hotfix it? Oh, no, they hotfixed it. Good. Because um, when I revived them the other day, they were just dying straight away after getting afterwards. So I was like, what the hell's going on? Anyway, come over to Pindle, cast Clay Golem here. The Pindle guys has a chance to drop a lot of good loot. There we go. Now, always Corp Explosion in the back end here, because these guys at the back can actually drop some pretty good loot. There we go. And then we'll just finish off Pindle. And repeat rinse, guys. That's it. Pretty much repeat rinse. Man, I need to get more damage. There we go, finally. Just a little air guess there. Always get these pots as well, so you can fill all these up. And there you go. Now, I normally don't I open a portal here, so I've got loads of gear, but I haven't got much of gear. Then save an exit, uh, and then guys, just repeat rinse. Just repeat rinse. Because you're locked down at 5, you're ready straight now to go back to Frigid Highlands. Repeat the repeat the run, guys, and uh, and uh, get loads of loot, hopefully, you know? Well, yeah, that run wasn't too bad. We've got ourselves a nice little... Uh, my third code run, actually. Not too bad at all. Sometimes, guys, as well, I like to end these runs going to Act 4, Sanctuary run. I quite like doing Sanctuary at the end. Or sometimes World Cup is Team 2. Obviously, I wouldn't bother with Duriel or, you know, or even Mephisto at the moment because it just takes too long to travel to those bosses until we finally get Enigma and just teleport straight to it. But I do like ending my run on uh, World Cup Keep 2 or a Flame Man to kill Di uh, Diablo and uh, cause Bail Man for those trumps. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you find it useful. Uh, what farm route do you guys use? Put it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care and have fun. Insane tree. Lovely.